Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. This is part 3 of the Slugrisk V series. With our environment ready, we can finally write some code. This is what this video is about. You can also read the written version of this video on my Python programming blog at prospercoder.com. Most programming tutorials, regardless of which programming language you are going to study, begin with a Hello World program where you can see what a program in that particular language must contain to work at all. Let's do the same here. What does a Hello World program in Kiwi look like? We're going to write a basic Kiwi app that will display a Hello World text. In Kiwi, like in many other GUI libraries and frameworks, static text is usually displayed in a label. In Kiwi, we call simple GUI elements like labels, buttons, sliders, checkboxes, etc. widgets. Although widgets don't have to be simple at all, and you can create your own widgets, which we are going to do later. Anyway, our program is going to display the text Hello World in a label. Before we write the code, let's create a folder where we will save it. Here is the folder Slugris3. And then open the folder in your editor or IDE. Here's how to do it in Visual Studio Code. So we are now in Visual Studio Code. Just go here, File, Open Folder, search for the folder you just created, which in my case is over here, Slugris 3, select Folder. Now, this folder is open in Visual Studio Code. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to create a new folder for each part and name it accordingly. So the folder for this part is called Slugris 3 because this is part 3. Here you can see the name, Slugris 3. My text editor of choice is Visual Studio Code and if I explain how to do something in the future, it should be understood how to do it in Visual Studio Code. If you're using a different editor, you surely know it quite well and will have no problem doing the same stuff in it. You can grab the Python and Kiwi language code from GitHub. I'll put the link to it in the description. You can also use the GitHub link in my website prospercoder.com. Anyway, when you open your folder, you need a file to write the code to. This is going to be a regular Python file, so with the extension .py. You can name your file whatever you like, I'll name mine main.py. Here's how you can create the file. When you hover your mouse over the name of your folder over here, a menu with a couple icons will appear. The first icon, new file, is the one you should click to create a new file. Now just type in the name of the new file, main.py and hit Enter. Now here the main pi file is created. We can also get rid of this welcome tab. And now we're left just with this file. Well, this is how we're going to add new files in the future. And now we're ready to write our code. Here it is. We're using Kiwi, so we'll need the Kiwi module. So import Kiwi. We need the app class. Our application is going to inherit from it. So, from Kiwi.app import app. We also need the label widget. So, from Kiwi UIX label import label
And here comes the application class. It inherits from app class. Let's name it Hello World App. Well, this final part of this name of the class, app, is quite important and I'm going to explain it soon. Well, this class inherits from app, which we imported. Okay, now in here in the class we have the build method, def build self return label and the text on the label should read hello world another part where we actually run the app if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore hello world app run Well, as mentioned before, you can find this file as well as all the other Python and Kiwi files later in this tutorial on GitHub. You will find the link in the video description and on my website prospercoder.com. So, this is a basic Kiwi application. Now we're ready to run it. There are several ways you can do it. Let's have a look at the most obvious ones. 1. The Run Python File in Terminal button, which is here. So, let's do it. And this is what we get. Here we have the application window, which shows up. And here is our label, hello world. Here at the bottom, we can see the Kiwi log. Okay. Two, run the Kiwi app without debugging in the run menu. So we can also go to the run menu over here and select run without debugging. So as you can see, we also have this application window over here. So the program is running now. 3. The Start Debugging option in the Run menu. So here in the Run menu, you also have the Start Debugging option. Now select this. And now we have to select a debug configuration. So go ahead and select the first option, Python file. And as you can see, the program is running again. Let's stop it. 4. You can also use hotkeys. So for the previous two options, you can also use hotkeys. So F5 to start debugging. Python file. Okay. And Control plus F5 to run without debugging. Fine. Then we have the context menu. This is number 5. You can just right click anywhere in the code editor and select run python file in terminal over here. Good. And finally 6. You can use an external terminal. So, if for some reason you can or don't want to use the terminal from within Visual Studio Code, you can always use an external terminal, like the command prompt on Windows, the Anaconda prompt, or what have you. First, you have to go to the directory where the executable file is, which in my case is over here. Main.py is in slug race 3 in this folder. So, let me copy this path. Well, just this part. Control C to copy. Now let's open my Anaconda prompt. Let's change to the D drive. And now let's change directory to 
where my Python file is. And now, all I have to do is type Python and the name of the file main.py enter and here my application window opens again this is my Kiwi app a very basic one so that's it for today you know what a basic Kiwi app looks like and how to run it as mentioned in the previous part an application consists of two layers, logic and presentation. Although there isn't any logic in our basic app actually, there is some presentation. You can see a graphical element, the label. As also mentioned in the previous part, you can either write the full app in Python code or split it into a Python file for logic and a Kiwi language file for presentation. In a basic scenario like this, it's overkill to create a Kiwi language file to accompany the Python file, but still I'm going to do that in the next part so that you can see how to make a basic Kiwi file program using both Python and the Kiwi language. We will definitely be using Kiwi language files extensively when our GUI becomes more complex and I promise it won't be long. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.